Hello Hunters! In this video I will show you a solo strategy for Alatreon. I will also tell you some important details and useful tips about this fight. First of all, if you are already familiar with this fight and you just want to see the builds, you can now skip to 4 minutes 50. If you want to know more about this unique fight, just stay with me. So let's start talking about the specifics of Alatreon. Alatreon is a monster that is capable to change elements. In order to succeed in this quest, you have to run elemental weapons. He can switch to three different elements, fire, dragon and ice. At the beginning of the quest, he starts with either fire or ice element, depending on which event quest you are playing. There are two different event quests that are changing daily. The first is called the Evening Star, in which he starts with fire element. And the other one is called Dawn of the Death Star, in which he starts with ice element. And for the special assignment he always starts with fire element. When he's changing its element there is a certain pattern. It is ice, dragon, fire, dragon, ice and so on. But there is a way to change this pattern by breaking his horns. And you can only break his horns when he's in dragon mode. Let's assume he starts with ice element. If he then changes to dragon and you break one of his horns, he changes back to ice instead of fire. This makes it possible to continue causing elemental damage. You have to do this in order to survive in this fight. The reason is that you cannot far cast back to camp to switch your builds. So focus on breaking his horns when he's in dragon mode. The easiest way I found out is to sheath your weapon and wait for an attack to punish him on the head. Here you can see a few examples. So what element you should run in this fight? Quite easy. When he's in ice mode, play fire on your weapon. And when he's in fire mode, take an ice weapon. If you fight him with the exact element he's currently using, you deal no elemental damage at all. And that's a big problem, you have to avoid this by all costs. But why you even have to attack him with elemental weapons? You have to do this in order to weaken his strongest attack. And that is Eschaton Judgment. If you don't manage to weaken this attack, you just die from it, there's nothing you can do. You can weaken his Eschaton Judgment up to three times, but one time is already enough to survive this attack. When Alatreon topples to the ground and the Handler speaks to you, you have managed to weaken his attack. Alatreon always uses his Eschaton Judgment when he's in Dragon Mode and wants to change element. This attack deals tick damage, so you have to heal yourself up with healing items. The best item you can use is Astera Jerky that you can just purchase in Zeliana. Astera Jerky can be used quickly and heals all your red potion of your health instantly. You can also use some max potions, but you should save as many as you can. Because like I said before, you cannot far cast back to camp to refill your inventory, don't forget that. Therefore you should bring crafting materials to craft more healing items mid fight. Here are a few more useful tips. If he's flying, you can bring him back to land by using smoke bombs. And try to keep him in rage by using the clutch claw if it's possible. Because when he's in rage, you deal a lot more damage to him. Oh yes, and always keep your blade sharpened by using Redfish Fins Plus. I don't want to go too much in detail with his attacks, but there are two certain attacks that he can use any time. If you got hit by one of these attacks, you get pinned to the ground and you are vulnerable to get hit a second time. The first one he raises his front legs and slams them on the ground. And the second one he slams up to three times to the ground while he's flying. So keep these two dangerous attacks in mind. So that's basically all the important stuff you have to know. If there's one more thing I have to say, just play carefully at the beginning. And try to beat him with an organized team, that's the easiest way. Alatreon is the most difficult monster in this game so far. You just have to get used to his attacks and know when you can punish him. Don't give up, just practice and play smart. So there you have it, Alatreon finished in just 16 minutes. Pretty decent time for a solo run, isn't it? That's the build. I'm using 5 pieces of Savvy Chiva armor to increase the amount of elemental damage. And you also benefit from 40% affinity right away. For the weapon I used an elemental Kia weapon. 
I choose Charge Blade, but you can basically take any other weapon category. For the Augments I used 1x Health Regen and 2x Element. And of course I custom augmented it with Element too. Here is an alternative build if you don't have the second Expert Jewel plus 4. The damage keeps the same, you just sacrifice some stun resistance. You can see it has 98% affinity without weakness exploit all the time. And also 920 fire element which is very high. This is the build for ice element. Basically you just have to change the mantle, the elemental charm and some decorations. And as you can see you don't need a second expert jewel plus 4 to make this build. And here we have 100% affinity all the time and a tremendous amount of 1140 ice element. I used a whole bunch of healing items and crafting materials as you can see. And here's my radial menu setup. For the canteen skills I recommend eating for element resistance large and also feline moxie. Don't forget that you can give your palico an element weapon too. And for the gadget I recommend vitality wasp to get an extra card. So that's it for the video, thank you so much for watching it to the end. See you in the next one, bye!